God our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I welcome you all, and especially those of you who are watching us on live stream. Uh, today we're asked to pray for the intentions of Wesley Pinna and Gus Rojas, and for the eternal repose of the souls of Socorro Escantú and Yolanda Estrada. Today we're celebrating the feast of St. Paul of the Cross. St. Paul of the Cross was born in the 17th century <coughs> uh, in a place called Ligori. You've probably heard of that. Of, that uh, it's a new year's to the Lord of Glory. But he was the son of wealthy parents. He went into his father's trade and then he heard Christ calling him. He studied to become a priest. And while he was in his uh, seminary formation, he met several other friends and they grouped, grouped together. And after they were all ordained, they became something that we call today the Congregation of the Passion. They were all passionists. And St. Paul himself was very devout. He was very stringent in his, in his things, his fasting and his things that he did. So as we prayed to him and prayed for him, to remind us today that you know we can be like him. We can do these things that uh, have to do with our giving ourselves wholly over to God. Amen. Amen. And so to prepare ourselves for this celebration today, we call to mind our sins, and we remember especially the times that we have not opened our hearts uh, to God's call when we have been too busy with other things. I confess, O Lord God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, that in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the necessary reparation, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May the priest, St. Paul, whose only love was the cross, obtain for us your grace, O Lord, so that our strong, more strongly by his example, we may each embrace our own cross with courage. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were at the time without Christ. You were at that time without Christ, alienated from the community of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. He made both one and broke down the dividing wall of enmity through, the, through his flesh, abolishing the law with its commandments and legal claims that he might create in himself one new person in place of the two, thus establishing peace and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that entity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, 
we both have access to one spirit, to the Father. So then, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. According to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your lions and light your lamp, and be like servants who wait their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant in his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will, be, he will gird himself and have them recline at table and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those, the, are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, Light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. The important message for us today is that we are to open immediately when Jesus comes and knocks on the door of our hearts. Jesus is knocking on your heart. Jesus is constantly coming to you, asking you to come in 
and asking him to be a big part of your life. He's asking you to take time to get to know him, to become stronger, to be healed, and to be helped. And the question to honestly think about is whether or not we are ready to let him in and let him in immediately. When we hear that knock in our hearts, so often we postpone the invitation. We are so busy. Yes, I'll let you in later. I'll get close to you later. But later may never come. Too often we hesitate. Too often we want to know the full plan for our lives for we, before we are willing to submit and to surrender ourselves to God. What we must come to know is that Jesus has the perfect answer to every question we have. And he has a perfect plan for every aspect of our lives. Because so often we worry about what we are to do. But if we form a personal relationship with Jesus, if we open our hearts to him, then we don't have to worry. Because he's going to be with us in every aspect of our lives. Once we accept this truth, then we will be better prepared to open the door of our heart at the first prompting of grace. We will be prepared to be immediately attentive to all that Jesus wants to say to us and to the grace that he wants to share with us. And it's this grace that will give us the strength to live our lives well. So today, this gospel reading to me is asking, how ready am I to open immediately every part of my life to the grace and will of God? Am I open to letting him in with great joy and enthusiasm and to let his plan continue to unfold? in my life because he has the plan for each one of us and he wants us to work with him at fulfilling that plan so light your lamps and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding be always ready to open not sometime in the future but to open immediately when he comes and when he knocks so we make our prayers this morning. Let us bring our needs to the Father in anticipation of the bountiful, of his bountiful providence. For those called uh, to the priesthood, religious, life to those who are called to different forms of ministry that when God knocks at the door of your hearts that he will give you a spirit of faithfulness and fortitude we pray to the Lord, Lord and this year of elections we pray for all those who govern our country we pray that the Holy Spirit will bless them with an abundance of understanding and prudence that he will open their hearts to do what is just and right and to respect all people at all stages in life. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who see no way forward in their lives, those who are struggling because of the pandemic, may the hope of Christ wash away their despair and his spirit inspired them on a grace-filled path. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all our young people, for all our youth. May God's voice always resound clearly in their hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have become unemployed, for those who are struggling to find a meaningful work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from cancer and COVID and diabetes and all those other diseases, for those who are close to death, that their passing will be peaceful, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For all those who have died, that they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Father of all, look kindly upon our prayers and grant all that will bring us peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, and it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse us from all our sin. Pray, my friends, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the of all of the church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. Paul on the cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. This should be right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ. For as on the festival of St. Paul of the Cross, you bid your church rejoice, so too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching. And keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the angels and saints, we thank you and we praise you as we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Father. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness, and make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up.
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and again, giving thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thanks be to God, Saint Michael the Archangel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.